Welcome to the Catfish Kitchen. making catfish pudding this morning. You guys remember that? Fire there is just so we can make it out of the fire and not make it in the house. The easiest way to do it would be to do it in a crock pot, but I don't want to stink up the house with rotten cheese and fish guts and all kinds of ugly stuff like that. Problem is, we just had Hurricane Nate come through and all the wood out here is sort of wet, but all we really need to do is need to get a few coals to keep them hot. But, oh, so what do you need to make punch bait? Three ingredients, rotten cheese, shark chum, because it has a bunch of ingredients in it like shad, squid, bunker, menhaden, emulsified oil that sinks in the water instead of just floats, okay? So it's way better. The cotton that I use for the fibers, and that's gonna be it, so. Oh, come on. I haven't opened this in about three or four years. Reese's peanut butter, goodness. And you're gonna put this cheese in here, just enough to get it to melt. Again, the customer wanted a gallon, so we're going to make him a gallon. So we can put it here. Okay. We just want to get that melted down to, that's all we're trying to do, melt the cheese. Remember that stuff? We've been catching catfish all this month on this stuff. I just put whatever amount of fill in there. I don't have... There's your bite stimulants. There's your... <sighs> so you got smoked, smoked catfish flavor. A lot of guys are all secret. Oh, I got my secret recipe. I don't give a rip about secret recipes. It's stinking catfish bait, man. But this gallon is going out to a customer. It costs, it takes some time and energy to, for me to make this stuff. And it's about as big a batch as I can make. And I'm not, you know, trying to do it commercially per se, but I'll offer it on the website if any of you guys are interested. Because that's part of my whole thing about fishing. A lot of people don't have time, so I'm willing to make some of these things for you so you can save time. It's our fiber, it's just cotton balls. See, it should unroll. You know, cut the fiber short like that. See, if you really want to see how I... Just mix it in like that really is all it takes. Um, it's good that one side stays hot so that we can kind of... Yeah, plenty of strands in there. I like to kind of let it sit for a couple of days over the weekend like we did. And see as you can see, there's the, that's it there. Nice and thick, not soupy like it was last yesterday. We got plenty of fibers in there. Three ingredients, rotten cheese, uh, aqua nutrition's uh, chum slick, and cotton. So I don't weigh it out or anything. I just put it, just cram as much as I can in that bag as possible. Catfish pudding. <laughs> 